So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert, if this is your first time tuning in. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing another unconventional side hustle, another way to hustle and make some money um, unconventionally. So um, real quickly, catch some people up who are not familiar with the channel, what we have going on. We have a custom home being built. So we're gonna be answering questions on how to build a home from the ground up. We also have garden Airbnb updates. We are doing, um, again, another unconventional investment, and that's gonna be investing into our Airbnbs by providing a fresh food source for our guests, where people can go out, guests can go out and pick their own vegetables, so we're giving you guys updates on that. And then, of course, we also have our um, tried and true unconventional side hustles for ways for people to make money. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about these uh, I know them as washer boards, um, but most people know them as cornhole games or cornhole board. So you can use those words in, uh, interchangeably. We call them uh, watchas in Spanish or cornhole game in English. So these things <clears throat> are fairly inexpensive to make. They're not that they're not that uh, that expensive. But most places you go, like we were just at Costco, by the way. And uh, we picked up some of those games. And if you're wondering where we're at, we're at Geodomes in South Texas. Um, you can check us out, www.geodomesinsouthtexas.com. Everything will be linked down below. But um, uh, at Costco, they sell these cornhole games for about $100 a piece for, for a set. So you figure $100, and I think it was like $129. I don't even think it was $100. I think it was like basically $130 uh, for two of these boards with the uh, bean bags. So $130, and then I was like, well, you know what, a piece of plywood is not that expensive. I can go and buy a piece of plywood and then I have a whole bunch of old lumber at the house. I can make it myself for, you know, maybe make four four sets for maybe 50, 60 bucks. So it's pretty, pretty much what I ended up doing. And uh, I have friends who actually do this as a side hustle as well. They make cornhole boards um, they go a little bit above and beyond and they actually like, customize them. They paint, you know, Dallas Cowboys logo, Houston Texans, uh, Houston Astros, different types of things that they can paint on these things. And again, you're going to be charging a premium. So I know that they do sell them for about $200 up to $300, depending on how much detail you want on these boards. But, um, again, the materials themselves, if I'm going to break this down for you guys, it's going to be, you know, a sheet of plywood and you can get out basically what I did, a sheet of plywood and I got four cornhole boards, which is basically two sets for a sheet of plywood. Um, I ended up going with 15, 30 seconds uh, treated plywood and that was $43, $44. I didn't buy any actual lumber um, because I already have a whole bunch of old lumber, but if you were to go out and buy it, um, basically what I did is I had a old two by 12. I ended up ripping it with a table saw and basically making them into like two by twos and i was able to do all the all the um all the boards with that one two by 12 that i had i was able to cut it multiple times and then it was very long so i could uh, get a lot of a lot of wood out of it so that's basically what i did i just cut, ripped a two by 12 into uh, two by two little uh boards and then that's what we use for the frame for the cornhole board and then we also use that for the legs. If you're to go out and buy two by twos, you're probably looking at about four, $4 for a treated two by two. Now, what's the difference between treated and non-treated? Well, treated can withstand the outside conditions better than non-treated wood can. So that's the reason I'm gonna be giving you prices for treated lumber, just for the longevity of the material itself. If you wanna go the cheap route, yes, you can get non-treated lumber but it's not going to last you as long, especially if you're going to be leaving all these games outside. Um, so yeah, so a two by two, uh, two by two by eight is probably going to run you about four or five bucks a piece. You're probably going to need about four to six of the two by twos to, um, to get, you know, four sets like I have here, just to kind of give you some quick little numbers here. So you're going to take about six two by two by two by eights. That's going to run you about $30 for the two by twos. Then you're going to get a sheet of plywood, a uh, four by eight sheet of plywood treated. Again, all these are treated prices. That's going to run you about $44, say $45. So now you're at 30 plus 40, what's 40, 50, 60, 70, 
and then a box of screws um, a box of you know one inch inch and five eighths pretty much uh, screws and you should be able to make your boards assuming you already have a drill and a circular saw jigsaw all that stuff this is pretty much how much it's going to cost you 75 plus another say ten dollars for a box for a pound of screws you're looking at 85 dollars rounded up to a hundred for who knows what right say a hundred dollars now you have two sets of these that you can sell um say you put in a hundred dollars in total you're going to sell each set for say 130 dollars now you're looking at 260 dollars and it only costs you a hundred dollars to to build this which it actually costs you less um, now if you are good at sewing then you can also make your own bean bags for the games themselves and then again charge a higher price for for basically being a complete set um, I have friends that do that also they customize the bean bags and they sell the whole set for about $250 for two of these boards and a set of the bean bags is about $250 um, so again you can make you know over a hundred dollars for three hours of work two hours of work depending how long how fast you are with making these cornhole boards uh, for me it took me about i don't know it probably took me about three hours to do four boards like this so that's not too bad um and that's me running around and getting tools out of the shed and i'm including all that time i didn't just bring all the tools and then start working um, i kind of did it at my own pace but in all around three hours probably a little less um, because i am pretty handy i do these types of projects all the time i don't sell them um, but i just do it for my own benefit and for my own businesses um, yeah i'm not here to to do this commercially but for those of you guys who are watching this and are interested in making this a a good side hustle you can definitely make some good cash off of this because um, like i said if i if i was to leave these here we're looking at you know $150, $130 a set, you're looking at $250 to $300 for, for what I have here, what I just made in those couple of hours. So if you really think about it, you're making about $50, $60 an hour doing these boards when it's all said and done. So that's pretty good. It's a pretty good little side gig. And uh, I see these things all over Marketplace. Some are like really, really high end with different types of woods. And they're going for like maybe $400. But for a simple basic one that you can knock out pretty quick you can easily make 50 60 dollars an hour making cornhole boards and then selling them online now before the internet it would have been really hard to kind of make this uh scalable but today you can because of the internet you can just you know make it post it get some photos great photos edit the photos and then post it online then you can have customers within a minute or two um again depending on the region depending how good the quality of these things are but um Theoretically, you can instantly have some customers already wanting to buy these from you. So to kind of give you some quick rundown on the materials, we used uh, 15 30 seconds treated plywood. We used treated two by twos for the legs and the frame. And then we even put a frame, a brace in the middle just for the weight. So that way it doesn't bow in the middle. And we just stained the whole the whole little game entirely with some Thompson's water seal just so it doesn't rot out the wood in the long run. So again, this isn't necessary. It's not needed, but I prefer it because they're going to be sitting out here for our Airbnb guest. And um, I just rather have it last a long time. Now for screws, I used inch and five eighths threaded screws. I used drywall screw drywall screw drywall screws because I had them available but those aren't the correct screws to be using but I already had them it's not a big deal um, but yes you are going to need a box of screws for the legs so drilling the legs I did use a two inch uh, drywall screw to get the legs onto the frame itself again drywall drywall screws are not the correct screws to use for this but it's just a game it's not going to have any structural integrity on it there's not going to be you know no one's going to be living in, in these things, these structures. So it's not a big deal. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was that you can make these a lot nicer. You can put actual two by fours on the sides. But again, these are for me. These are for my Airbnb. I don't need to go all out and make these super expensive. They're going to be out here in the weather, in the, in the conditions outside. 
there's no need for me to put you know a bunch of money into these things now again i hope you guys appreciate that quick little uh side hustle between 50 and 60 dollars an hour um, doing these board games that you can also sell in like flea markets you can sell them online you can sell them at garage um, garage sales there's different places you can sell these that they would sell um, if you can target a lot of tailgaters a lot of tailgaters like to play these games airbnb hosts and owners like to have these games for their guests um, there's a lot of different use cases for these so there's a big audience for this there's a big target audience for this um, there's a lot of people interested in buying these they were going pretty quickly at Costco, even at that price. Um, but again, I saw that. I was like, I'm not going to pay $129 for, for two boards when I can go make four boards for $50, $60, $70. $70. So. But yeah, I hope you guys appreciate that short video. and hope you gain some value out of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.